Good morning, and it's time to hit the road. Um, I was contacted by one of the subscribers from the channel, fans of the camp. He lives up in Surrey. It's about an hour and a half drive from me, something like that. So I'm leaving early, hopefully not too much traffic, and I'm going cross country as opposed to taking the motorway. I think that's the safest bet. So I'll get back to you later. Right, you join us at the pub because it was the easiest place to meet up, quite simply. I'm here with Craig. He was the guy that invited me up. Um, we're just having a, a swift pint and then we'll be off to the woods. Catch you later. Well, we've got to the woods and we've got all set up. And we just sat down and opened, opened a beer. And it started raining. No rain forecast, but it's raining. Last half an hour or so, I've been hearing thunder in the distance. Again, which wasn't really forecast for this area. So I may well have to change my setup. I'm not sure yet. Depends what happens with the rain. I've got a hammock. If I turn that way, look, I'm over there. I'll show you what I've got and what I've done and so on in a minute. Let me see what happens with this rain first. Right, let me uh, just quickly show you around the area so you can see what I am seeing, basically. Um, and it's still raining. Hmm. Right, down there we got Craig set up. He's got the DD Jungle and a 4x4, so he's going to be dry. That was the direction we came in, through the trees over there. We're going to have a, a proper wander later. Um, but this is looks like an old plantation. You can see tracks through it. Um, through that way somewhere there's a lake. We'll go and find that in a little bit. It's quite dense woodland over that way. We've seen some, some deer go through there already. They, they started running when the, the thunder started. And I'm over here. So show you what I've got over here. Nothing exciting, nothing new. Um, I've got, got my Solinac gear out there, as you can see. Let's have a bit of adjustment. Is that a bit too, a bit brighter, a bit darker, a bit brighter? Oh, there we go. How about that? Yeah, so I've got the Solinac tarp over there with a bit of a porch at one end just to get a bit of airflow because it was really muggy when I first turned up and hot and sunny and now it started raining. Got the little Solinac hammock and I've got my lightweight down bag in there. I would have brought my jungle bag but I've lent it the marquee so I had to go for the the next best thing. But yeah really nice little location. He's so lucky with this it's sort of behind his house virtually so he can walk here within like five minutes I'm gonna do some exploring right I've had a little wander through the woods and we've come to this lake and some big fish looks like a carp there just under the surface you probably won't see it on on camera because there's too much reflection um, it's obviously one set up for fishing because there is little stands around the outside for people. What a lovely little spot. Very nice indeed. Well, here's the bag that I'm using today. It's the Eurohike Down 500. <clears throat> it's probably a little bit too warm for the conditions, but as I haven't got my jungle bag, this was the next coolest bag I've got for sticky conditions and because it's a bit warm what I'm, I'm planning is I'm actually going to undo the zip full length still have my feet in the end like a foot box but then have the top open so it's over me more like a blanket really then I've got the, the option venting some heat if I get too hot if it does get chilly in the night as temperatures drop, as we know, get to, you know, sort of four in the morning, that's when it's really chilly, if it's gonna be chilly, I 
can always zip it right up. But that's that's my thinking for the time being. To have the bag open and just laid over me. No under blanket. So that's the other thing. I have got an under blanket with me. At the moment, with the temperatures, how it's been the last few days, even overnight at home, we've had like, you know, 15, 16 degrees overnight. It's been quite difficult to sleep actually at home. If it stays that sort of temperatures, don't need an under blanket. I don't know here. And after we had a little thunderstorm and a few spots of rain, and it has made the air feel clearer. The temperature might drop a little. It's all trial and error. It really is for today. So I've got the under blanket. It can go on if necessary. I'm gonna have this unzipped, but I can zip it up if necessary. I think I've just got to see how things are and at bedtime make the decision. What a great little piece of woodland this is. As you see it's more traditional woodland over there, deciduous woodland. Um, over there is where the lake is, through there, and like a two minute walk. And back down this little path here. It's not a public footpath. There's a public footpath for any outside of here. Um, but this is all, all private. I'll say it's a permission camp, so we can be here, which is handy. Um, everything to my right now is um, the edge of a pine plantation. Really quite thick through there. That's where I saw the div moving through earlier. And just down at the bottom there, is where we've set up and because we're on the outskirts of a small village um, I'm not saying quite where obviously because it's a private location um, but the pub where we met uh, you could probably walk in five minutes from here um, there's a little local shop and also there's fish and chips so we're thinking fish and chips later that'd be nice fish and chips on a wild camp. I haven't done that for years, unless I've been down on the beach. But yeah, really nice setup here. I'm uh, very glad Craig contacted me and invited me up. Always nice to, to, to meet a subscriber as well, or, or anyone that you've been chatting online with any length of time. It's, it's nice when you can actually sort of meet them and you know put a face to the name. Yeah, it's going to be a nice evening. Right, Craig's off to the chip shop to get dinner for us. So if you can see through the trees there, it's my, my hammock set up through there. We're there-ish, about 100 metres, I suppose, away. So I'm just having a, a quick scout in the immediate area. He's really lucky to have this as a, not only as a permission, but with it being so close to his house. It's literally, you know, just a short walk in here for him. Perfect. Um, and the other thing, unlike um, sort of like my local area, it's predominantly flat. So you could, uh, you know, clear yourself a little area for like a permanent base camp if you wanted. No problem for tents and that sort of things, dead easy. Um, as much as I, I love my area for its variety of woodland and terrain and the fact I've got, you know, little valleys and streams and all that sort of thing. In my area, it can be a bit difficult to find a, a flat spot. Can you see that? where the deer have been. Yeah, it's, it's more difficult to find a splat, flat spot. Obviously, you know, I can do it in my area, but you have to sort of hunt around a little bit. Hammock's no problem. But in here, you could just about set up anywhere you wanted. Just, just clear the ground and, and you're away. Yeah, he's a lucky boy having this on his, as his back garden. Yeah. Well, that's service for you. 
fish and chips delivered in the woods. <laughs> we were just saying we're not sure whether it counts as wild camping now, but hey, who cares? Smells wonderful. Also, as I was saying to Craig earlier on, although I live in a coastal town, I actually don't have fish and chips that often. I think it's because it's always there. It's something I just don't really sort of like register. So I'm really looking forward to this. Look, the man's even got bloody vinegar and ketchup on that here. Don't Chris. mess around. No, super organised. Okay, let's get on with this. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I do a bit of travelling. I do 60, 70 miles from home to get up into the Surrey Hills. <laughs> and um, nice bit of wood in the middle of nowhere. Can you hear that? What is it with people having parties next to the woods wherever I am camping? I swear the music follows me, I really do. <laughs> but at least in this case, it's um, proper recorded music, so it sounds correct, where the other weekend it was a band doing covers and murdering. So at least it sounds all right, but uh, yeah, I wasn't really expecting a bit of after dinner entertainment really. But never mind, we're still having a good evening. Well, I don't know where that evening's gone. It's absolutely flown past. It'd be really nice, you know, having a, a good chat about all sorts of things, really. Um, music stopped a while back from the party. So, yeah, it's nice and quiet now. We are, you know, yeah, just, just approaching midnight. And it, yeah, it's absolutely flown past. I was shocked when I realised the time. So, yeah, it's been nice. But now it's time for bed. I'll see you in the morning. It's about, it's coming up for eight. I had a pretty good sleep. Um, woke up about, I think it was half past one, to a thunderstorm and it was flashing and banging and raining. But it was quite pleasant to listen to, to be honest. I wasn't awake long. And uh, yeah, slept around till now, so that was all right. I think it was about midnight we went to bed. So I haven't had a bad sleep at all. In fact, Craig's still asleep now. <laughs> but it's not bad this morning. I think the rain stopped. It's a job to tell in here. I can hear sort of like drips on the tarp, but I think it's just coming off the trees, you know, it's not actual rain. Sun's out. Looks like it's gonna be another nice day. So, uh, as much as I've enjoyed this camp, the next stage, of course, is packing everything and the drive home which I'm not as excited about. But uh, I'll make this last as long as I can. See you in a bit. Right, everything's packed, everything's tidy. Time to get stuff back to the car. It was a very good evening. Uh, thank you for having me, Craig. Welcome. It, yeah, it was, it was a pleasure. We had a, a, a really good time. Good evening. Uh, and an interesting thunderstorm. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> slightly interesting. Yeah, it brought, uh, brought his tarp down in the night with the amount of water it caught. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, we still had a giggle uh, and it's been fun. So yeah, back to the car. Thanks for watching. <laughs>